We're reaching into the archives. Hey everybody, Jay Allen here. Welcome back to the channel. So I started my channel. It was uh, the Guitar Dungeon, and then it turned into Jay Allen Music, and then I created shorts, and that totally took over the channel. And so I turned that channel into Rock and Replay. It's a channel completely about uh, rock and roll trivia, and they're all shorts. Uh, so I moved all of my content uh, to this channel renamed it J. Allen Guitar and tried to focus a little bit more on uh, gu guitars and uh, cheap guitar reviews and pedals and things like that. But I did do quite a bit of uh, reviews on old technology, uh, uh, four track recording, uh, eight track reel to reel tape, things like that. And I did some uh, videos on old keyboards and such. And so some of that content didn't get moved over because I didn't think it was uh, applicable to this channel. But I've been kind of going through some of it and uh, I think I'm going to post it sort of as a special uh, section, maybe create a playlist of archival uh, content. And so this one is about the Casio SK-1 sampling keyboard. And so I'm going to get all this uh, content moved over and you can see how this channel has grown in the past just a couple of years that I've been doing this and uh, so I hope you enjoyed this and stick around for a, a few more uh, throwbacks as we go along. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, Jace Allen here from Rum Runner Guitars and today I'm playing around with a Casio SK-1. 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 <laughs> Stick around. <laughs> So if you grew up in the 80s, you probably know what this keyboard is. It is the Casio SK-1 sampling keyboard. Uh, back in the 80s, sampling became all the rage. And of course, Casio had to put sampling into their products to make them more interesting. And when I was, I don't know, 15 maybe, 14, 15, my mom got me one of these from a retail store called Tepe's. <laughs> they don't exist anymore, but anyway, they had a music section. You used to buy, be able to buy keyboards and synths in just regular department stores. I'm uh, not sure you can do that anymore. You probably have to go to Amazon to get them. But uh, this was available as well as an SK, I think five and maybe 10, I'm not sure, but there were two different, Three different models, I think, of these SKs. And this was sort of the cheapest. And uh, it was $100 back then, back in uh, the mid-80s. So today, we're going to play around with it. Okay, so as you can see, this is sort of a mini key keyboard. And it came with a power supply, or you could plug it in with six AA batteries. And it would go through batteries pretty fast. And right here, it's got a, a microphone, a small, very small condenser microphone. And you see this uh, button here called sampling. You press that and it gives you, I don't know, a couple seconds of, of sampling. And uh, uh, you can play, you can record. So you can record you know, a rhythm track and then, and then noodle around. And then it has rhythms in it and a few different voices. And of course you can always choose your sample. So let's give this, uh, the sample a try. Hello. Can you hear the ding, the beep? Hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. 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 Hello, 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 hello. So, so there you go. That's that's sort of the sampling. Uh, hello, uh, hello, 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 h
I think it just speeds up and slows Hello. down the sample. Hello. 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 But anyway, that's kind of cool. So then you've got, like I said, you've got a piano. These are all sampled sounds. Not too bad. A little cheesy. Trumpet. Definitely synthesized. This one's cool. Kind of cool. Pipe organ. Pretty realistic sounding pipe organ. And then you had this option here. You could you could create your own synthesizer somehow. And then you could see how these the little symbols here are the different waveforms. You could do different things to it. Not exactly sure how all that works, but then you could create this envelope select. Anyway, and then he had vibrato, ornamental, whatever that is. Oh, almost like a like a, a wheel. They have brass ensemble. That's like total eighties synth sound. Lute. synth drums but you'll notice that the, the you know the beat is different so you can't really play them together see they're different <laughs> they're different uh, uh, they're different beats it's because they're sped up and slowed down so you can't really <laughs> kind of cool jazz organ That's kind of neat. And then, of course, you can bite your sample. Hello. <laughs> and then you have these great rhythms. <laughs> That's awesome. Tempo, of course. It's classic Casio sound from the 80s. And you actually had a fill you could do. See? <laughs> So that's kind of cool. Oh, uh, let me stop here. Let's hit reset to stop. And then you could record. So if you move this toggle switch down to record, then you can record. Hello. Oh, that's sample. I don't want that. Let's see. I'll delete. Clear. Delete. And we'll go to piano. Let's go to pipe organ. And then back to record. <laughs> And then I'm not sure how you play what you auto play. There we go. Right. <laughs> Just plays it once, I guess. And then you had these solo and chord. If you moved it to chord, uh, it would play the chord corresponding to these. Oop. Somehow we got a rhythm. Oh, okay, so it plays a rhythm, and then you get a chord. I think so that's so you could build your melody, and then you probably switched it up here to solo one, two, and you could probably do layers of recording. Maybe. Let's try it. Record.
about the Casio SK-1. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and then I think you could do Solo 1, and that might be another track, and you could do a, another voice. So let's try it. Because solo one and solo two are monophonic. You can't play two notes at the same time. It's polyphonic or monophonic. And so is solo two. And then chord is just, it makes chords with the rhythm. And uh, I think if you tried to add a normal, go up to normal and then add another track, it might not work because of the, uh, you know, it's polyphonic. Phonic, and then there's probably only so much memory that it can hold so many uh, notes at once. But yeah, it's pretty impressive that you could do uh, multi-track <laughs> recording on this little this little device. Yeah, let's see what else can we talk about. Sample, clear, demo, and then it had this. This thing is cool. I always thought this was neat. Let me delete clear memory I guess I'll turn it off turn it back on okay so if you think you this is what I used to do I was very slow at playing music and uh, you know you didn't have the internet back then you didn't have the little tutorials where it showed the keys on a you know virtual keyboard and then you just followed along so i'd look at uh, sheet music to play things and you sit there and you you know play it note by note but you play it really slow so what you could do is you could switch to record and then you could just go through play the notes And then when you go to play, you could use this one key play. And you could play it at normal speed. <laughs> as fast as you could press the buttons. So that was kind of cool. So what else? That's about it. Oh, it's got a uh, output mini jack. Eighth inch output. It's got two line ends. It's got a, a quarter inch and a, a eighth inch. So you can actually input real sounds into it, and uh, it's not great. <laughs> run, run off of my phone. I've got uh, GarageBand up here. <clears throat> And uh, coming out of an audio interface. So, and you can't hear the audio either when you're sampling it. So that's kind of weird. <clears throat> so you do sampling. And then you hit the key on your, and you hear the little ding. So that's a synth sample off of It's not great. It's like 8 bit or something. 12 bit. I don't know. It's, it's pretty bad. And it's very short. It gives you a, uh, like a second. I mean, a second. Literally a second. Second, two seconds of, of sampling. But it was fun. It was fun to play with when I was a kid. And uh, I'm going to I'm gonna make a song with this, I think. Um, I have to. I have to make a song because there's got to be a way to... Uh, utilize this cheese factor 
you know, especially with the uh, the rhythms. Those are awesome. <laughs> and then this chord. Ooh, that's great. Oh, that's using the sample I just made. <laughs> hours of mindless fun. I used to play with this thing for hours just making up stuff. But my musical knowledge was so limited, but I wanted everything to sound like stuff I heard on the radio. <laughs> but I was like, I don't know, I could have learned on this thing. I, I don't know why I didn't spend more time trying to learn it, but I could have actually made some songs, uh, learned music writing and stuff, but yeah. So anyway, there you have it. <laughs> the Casio SK-1. SK1. 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 <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on the Guitar Dungeon.